Hello, my name is Alex Lasokin. I'm a medical oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Uh, and I'm presenting a, a Trials in Progress poster for Magnetism 30. This is a phase 1B open label study of elronatumab in combination with ibertamide in patients with relapsed or refractory uh, multiple myeloma. The objective uh, of the study is to evaluate the safety, efficacy, and pharmacokinetics of elronatumab in combination with ibertamide. Uh, so elronatumab is a humanized uh, bispecific antibody that targets B cell maturation antigen on myeloma cells and uh, CD3 on T cells. Uh, data from the phase two uh, magnetism three trial uh, demonstrated that ELRA monotherapy uh, in patients with relapse or refractory myeloma uh, led to deep and uh, durable responses with a manageable safety uh, profile. Uh, Elronatumab has been approved uh, for patients uh, previously exposed to a PI, IMID, and anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody um, uh, as of um, August of 2023. Uh, uh, ibertamide is a novel uh, Cerebellone 3 uh, ligase, uh, and it exhibits anti-proliferative and pro-apoptotic activity in myeloma cells and in unimodulatory activity. The idea is that it can in, uh, potentially enhance the efficacy of l -renatumab. So that has led to this combination uh, study design. Uh, this is a phase 1B open label uh, perspective uh, study. Um, uh, the study is divided into two parts, uh, a dose escalation part and a randomized dose optimization uh, part. Uh, there are, um, in part one, um, three dose levels of ibertamide that will be evaluated in combination with a fixed uh, dose and schedule of l um, Six to nine patients uh, uh, per each of three dose level cohorts will be enrolled. Uh, once uh, uh, an, uh, an optimal uh, dose level is identified, uh, actually two dose levels, then uh, these uh, will proceed into a one-to-one -one randomization in, in part two, uh, where uh, two different uh, dose levels of ibertamide will be evaluated head-to-head -head in combination with uh, l -renatumab. Uh, the key inclusion criteria for this study shown in table one uh, include individuals with myeloma for part one, uh, those that have received two to four prior lines of therapy uh, consisting of an IMID and a PI. In part two, one to three uh, prior lines of therapy consisting of an IMID uh, and a PI. Um, patients need to be relapsed or refractory to the last line of therapy and have adequate bone marrow and organ uh, function. Uh, recent transplant uh, or active GDH are exclusive. Exclusionary active uncontrolled infection is exclusionary um, and uh, high-grade peripheral neuropathy uh, as well uh, as uh, prior exposure to BCMA-directed uh, 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 CD3 redirecting uh, therapy or ibertamide or mesigdamide as well. Uh, the study endpoints uh, for part one are to define the dose-limiting uh, toxicities, and for part two, uh, the adverse effect profile uh, and uh, 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 laboratory parameters. And of course, key secondary point endpoints include efficacy endpoints um, and uh, PK, as well as uh, MRD negativity. Uh, the current study, uh, the status is that it's open and uh, actively uh, enrolling uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing additional uh, information as uh, patients uh, enroll and uh, complete the study.